everybody, my name is Razorboy9 Fairy here, and today I am actually doing a little preview for some multiple people that kind of shows them why or what I messed up on on Rust Legacy, you know, on setting up. So this is just a little sc screenshot that I took. Yeah. Right, let's get right back. I'll save. All right, so as you can see here, if we go here, Bayes, there's no Russell Legacy. They took that out a long time ago. Oh, but there's another way to get to Russell Legacy. For some reason, the method my computer does not like it will go to a program when I do it, but from watching. A YouTuber or do it. I don't understand why my computer's not doing. So yeah, if you want to know who, what YouTuber is going, shouts to him because he has full credit on this video on how to do it and stuff and all that. So yeah. All right. So first, first that you'll want to get to this site. I'll put the link in the description for you. And then what you want to do is download the fo folder. I already downloaded it myself, so it's already there. But you'll also need a like one RAR to extract it because it's in when RAR compressed format. So yeah. Well RAR. Compressed format. I already have that also downloaded, so I won't kind of worry about that. So, right here is mine, as you can see. If we go here, let's check files here. We're extracting them All right, right here. It's going to take a little bit. Not long now. I will have to apologize. Is it on my recording commentary styles and stuff? I am not that good yet. So yeah. All right. So once we have this, you want to double click that. As you can see, we have Rust and an application there shortcut. I know. So first, you want run Rust Buster, which I'm doing so right now. Run it. And it, what this does is installs all the stuff onto your computer. Sorry, Owen, if you're listening to this again. So yeah. All right. So the name changer here. You can just close out that. The name changer here is for you to change your character's name in it. So, go and name myself Razor Blade My Freddy because I have no shame in my name. Now, there's a couple ways that you can open this, and I'll do it the same way. I'm just going to do it the same way that I saw from a video. Another way is you can run it as that, or you can go to Rustbuster 2016 Helper, and what it does, it pulls up a command prompt and all that, which it'll still pull up a command prompt for me. So here, click play, and what it's going to do, it's going to load this up, then it's going in the close it and pull up another thing so yeah it closes it put pulls up a command prompt and want you to do it again as you can see here there's two game windows open what's going to happen is the first one's going to close out after you do it and then you should be good to go thing is for my computer it will close it as soon as it's done loading. 
like gets one f server name up, it'll close it. So I'm wondering what I did wrong here. Right, so if I go here, just to show, first server in one second. Oh, not even one second. As you can see, it closes itself out. I'm not sure what is wrong here. Why is doing that? Uh, and if you guys have any questions on what Rust Legacy is, Rust, Rust Legacy was the game before modern Rust is out. So, the one before the original Rust that's out right now, Rust Legacy is was the one and to play on. There was no such thing as our modern Rust now. It was that and it's lower graphics but it's in my opinion somewhat better. And I, I know people will argue with me that but it's my own choice and decision on what I say. In my opinion it's better. So yeah. I don't know what's wrong with it. I have no idea. Just it just doesn't want to work with me. So I'll put the links in the description for you guys. This and yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Oh,